Hello and welcome. Let's talk about hemorrhage. So, what does it mean by hemorrhage? Hemorrhage is defined as escape of blood from the vessel, blood vessel to the exterior, outside the body, in the tissue, within a viscous or within a cavity. Classification of hemorrhage. According to source of blood, it may be arterial, venous or capillary. According to time of occurrence or duration or time of onset, it may be primary, secondary or reactionary. According to visibility, it may be external, internal, initially concealed but later revealed. And according to mode of onset, it may be acute, chronic and acute and chronic hemorrhage. And according to possible intervention, it may be surgical hemorrhage, non-surgical hemorrhage. So, classification of degrees of hemorrhage. It is classified into 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. 1 is lesser than 15% of the blood volume lost as percentage of total. Class 2 is 15 to 30 percent of blood volume lost. Class 3 is 30 to 40 percent of the blood volume lost. And class 4 is more than 40 percent of the blood volume lost. The pathophysiology of the hemorrhage leading to physical exertion and death. It is given here. You can pause it and note from here. Clinical features of hemorrhage pallor, thirsty, and sinusis, tachycardia, tachypnea, air hunger, cold climbing, skin due to vasoconstriction, rapid 3D pulse, hypotension. Oliguria and features related to specific causes. Signs of significant blood loss. Pulse more than 100 per minute. Systolic blood pressure less than 100 mm of Hg. Diastolic blood pressure drop on sitting and standing more than 10 mm of Hg. And pallor or sweating and shock index is more than 1. Now, treatment of hemorrhage. First of all, identification of the hemorrhage. Then immediate resuscitative maneuvers. And then identification of the site of the hemorrhage and then hemorrhage control hemorrhage control is uh, done where the blood is uh, blood loss is stopped by pressure packing position coagulation by diathermy and ligation and once hemorrhage is controlled patients will be aggressively resuscitated warmed and coagulopathy should be corrected and after that damage control resuscitation should be done now methods of the stoppage of the hemorrhage pressure packing position which includes elevation of the limb if hemorrhage is from limb coagulation by diathermy and ligation effects of hemorrhage acute renal shutdown liver cell dysfunction cardiac depression hypoxic effect metabolic acidosis GIT mucosal ischemia sepsis interstitial edema AV shunting in lungs leading to ARDS hypovolemic shock leading to MODS method of determining blood loss in surgery measuring the blood loss by clot size of a cleansed fist is 500 mm 500 ml Swelling of the soft tissue around the close factor, fracture in case of TBI 500 to 1500 milliliter, in case of femur 500 to 2000, and in case of pelvic fracture 2000 to 3000 milliliter. Suction tube measurement of the blood during suction per operatively and swab weighting. Weighting of the weight of the sweat swab minus weight of the dry swab gives amount of the blood loss estimation. Estimation of hemoglobin percentage in PCV, estimation of blood, total blood volume, and others can be done. Why tachycardia occurs in hemorrhage? In hemorrhage, there is decreased effective circulatory volume leading to decreased blood pressure and there is reflex stimulation of sympathetic nervous system leading to increased heart rate, so tachycardia occurs. Now, differences between the types of hemorrhage. There are three types, primary, reactionary and secondary. Primary occurs immediately due to injury, reactionary within 24 hours of primary and secondary after 7 to 14 days of primary hemorrhage. Primary hemorrhage occurs due to uh, injury to the blood vessels during trauma or operation. Reactionary occurs due to rolling or slippage of the ligature, dislodgement of clot, cessation of the reflex vasospasm. Secondary uh, hemorrhage due to infection, slowing of the vessel wall, pressure by drain or bone, and malignancy. Primary hemorrhage example includes during any operation, primary hemorrhage may occur. And reactionary hemorrhage occurs commonly after tracheotomy, thyroidectomy, hemorrhoidectomy, circumcision, cholecystectomy, and others. Secondary hemorrhage in any other type of surgery where there is infection, in case of hemorrhoidectomy, inguinal block dissection, etc. End of the topic.